Yeah, so uh, 3i Atlas uh, was discovered in July 2025, and it, it has uh, nine anomalies, things that uh, are quite unusual about it. First, uh, its size, it's bigger than five kilometers uh, and about a million times more massive than the first interstellar object that we discovered eight years ago, Oumuamua. Uh, and so it's surprising that uh, the third object we find is uh, a million times more massive than the first one. And uh, moreover, uh, it lies in the plane of the planets around the sun. Uh, it came uh, uh, very close to Mars on October 2nd, uh, and then uh, it will come close to Venus uh, shortly, and eventually get very close to Jupiter on uh, March 16, 2026. And uh, that uh, begs the question of whether the trajectory was designed uh, by some intelligence. There was also nickel with very little iron coming out of it. Uh, also, uh, not much uh, water coming out of it, only 4% by mass, as far as we saw. And just a few days ago, it came closest to the sun on October 29th. We couldn't see it from Earth because it's on the opposite side of the sun. But uh, uh, some other observatories that are orbiting the sun were able to look at it and it became extremely bright uh, very rapidly uh, close to the sun and uh, obtained a color that is bluer than the sun. And uh, in addition, it displayed some non-gravitational acceleration. It deviated from the original trajectory that we expected it to go on. And that uh, if it's a natural comet, then we would expect that it lost uh, about 20% of its mass. So there should be a very massive cloud of dust or gas around it, weighing uh, uh, of order uh, 5 billion tons. So uh, in the coming weeks, we should be able to tell if there is a very massive cloud of gas around it, in which case it might be a comet of natural origin. But if we don't see this massive cloud, then the non-gravitational acceleration that it displayed uh, may have originated from something else, maybe an engine, maybe it's a technological object. So we should keep uh, our uh, uh, options open as of now uh, until we get better data. Waiting for, for more data, uh, AB, I would like to ask you about uh, the 3 Atlas and uh, we would like to ask you about uh, if it could be the first step towards uh, discovering life or intelligence uh, beyond the Earth. It could be uh, if it happens to be technological in origin. Uh, there is a question of why it arrived in the plane of the planets around the sun. Why is it so massive, uh, you know, the, a million times more massive than the first object? We should have seen millions of those smaller objects before we see a big one. Uh, and also all kinds of other anomalies about the, the material that it has and uh, the kind of uh, glow that it had uh, ahead of it, in front of it, towards the sun early on. Uh, opposite to what we often see in comets. So uh, the, the, the verdict should come out of uh, the data that we will get in the coming weeks. It will get closest to the Earth on December 19th, about six days before Christmas. And my hope is that it will not deliver any unwanted gifts uh, for the holidays to Earth. Uh, we should watch it. We should check if there is any if there are any probes that may have been released by such an object and uh, they arrive to Earth or to Mars where we have orbiters that can monitor the situation.